wanted to do is we wanted to do our last for this season. This is uh, just turned spring. We still got a foot to a foot and a half of snow out here. But with this here, this hot tent setup, this is the DIY hot tent that I made up. And with this setup, I drag in on a sled. So there's a lot more gear and such. But the warmth you get, it's worth it. But this here is the last time I'll probably use this this season. And I'll put it up until uh, next fall or when there's snow again. But you looking forward to this? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only going to get around a little below the freezing mark tonight. Which, uh, <laughs> it's going to be very toasty yeah. in there. And it's going to be warm. Yeah, for sure. Just lit the fire. We're just... We've been running around here getting firewood, running back and forth and such. So we're just going to chill out by the fire for a little bit. So we're inside there now. And it's toasty. <laughs> Very toasty. I mean, really quickly, this this canvas tent heats up. It's only a 8 foot by 8 foot at the base. So it's pretty tight in here, really. Just enough for the stove and two people. But she's nice and toasty. So there's the stove, and we're both sitting. Here's the crash. <laughs> and we both have our packable chairs, and these here are very comfortable chairs. So I'm sitting right here by the stove, and he's sitting over there. And yeah, we're we're not that far away, but it is definitely toasty in here. Very nice. This here is the outdoor temperature right now, like zero degrees. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you inside. I'm going to see the difference. Maybe one degree or so. So right around zero. Right there is what the temperature is. And up where I am, <laughs> my face and such. I've got to start peeling off my jacket and stuff. It is getting very toasty in here. Now, that there shows 70 in here, but I know just up by where my head is and my face, it must be 80 or 90. It's uh, climbing very fast. And I have to close that off a little bit. That's stinking hot in here right now. <laughs> it's pretty warm, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> but what a difference from, like, actually, my my leg's about a foot away from it, where I'm sitting in this chair, and my pants are, like, hot. Like, they're oh. actually getting hot. You've got to move your leg out once in a while. Yeah, um, same here. Of course, down by the snow, you know, it's a little cooler, of course. But, Wow. Is this ever heating up quick? I wish I could uh, <laughs> take my thermometer and hang it up there because it's probably, you know, 90 to 100 up here. I don't know. Actually, there's one spot over there that I can hang it for a while and we'll see how high it goes. It's been about probably three minutes or so, three, four minutes since I put the thermometer up there. So we'll take a look at it. I actually took off my jacket and such. This feels a lot better. I turned down the stove as well. I just turned the damper down. And <laughs> I didn't have it. I only had it about on half last, or there a couple minutes ago. And it was, like I said, it was cooking us, pretty much cooking us out. It was uh, that warm in here. This is a small space. This is, uh, you know, pretty big stove actually for space this size. But, I mean, cold, cold temperatures, <laughs> this works great. So let's take a look at that thermometer up there and see what it's at. It's pretty warm, that's for sure. It's 40 Celsius. So, that's why I was uh, rather warm. Decided to cook a little bit of supper and I've got the pot
pot sitting right on the stove. It's giving off a fair amount of heat. It's not, you know, I don't have it really, really hot burning because it would cook us out. But it's enough to heat up the water and such for noodles. We're going to have that and uh, fry up some corned beef as well. That's going to be our supper tonight. Now uh, those are done well, very well. So now we'll put these off to the side and just keep them warm. That didn't get to a boil, it just rehydrated and it's uh, nice and warm and hot though. Now we're going to uh, set this aside like I said and we're going to fry some, some corned beef over this. And that will be supper. Good, smells good. There you go. So we're getting our bedding ready. I just put a little bit of boughs underneath this one spot. You can see where the ice and snow is melting. So I just put that up little boughs underneath there just to keep my tarp a little bit out of that water but we're getting ready to haul out our bedding and fill up the stove and go to sleep so we're all set up there now and about time to go to sleep so I'm on this side Chris is over there you're all set up there now pretty much aren't you oh yeah yeah cool cool so get the fire going I can't even zip up in this sleep bag right now, but we'll just, it's all fire dependent. You start getting cool, throw another log on. We got enough wood for the night. We're going to be set. See you in the morning. Good morning. Last night was nice. Every couple hours or so, I'd automatically wake up, throw some wood in the fire, just two sticks go back to sleep but toasty all night very very nice I'm gonna turn you around and show you how much wood we still have left we still have all that wood left and it is daylight out there good stuff this is my view right now <laughs> they actually have a light bulb in here <laughs> that's that's a uh, cool little light that Chris got me for Christmas it's just a pull cord you pull down it turns on it's lead light takes three AAA batteries and uh, it works pretty sweet <laughs> it's very cool well, this is my view right now and it's almost time time to get up so this here is the first load that we're going to take out now camping last night was basically like camping in a cabin to me I mean this was actually a lot of work uh, it's our first spring camp but we woke up we're toasty we slept toasty yeah. we went to bed toasty um, we're used to coming out here there is no heat absolute I mean, you start a fire, you don't get much heat from that fire. We have a small fire to watch. So when you go crawl in your hammock at minus 20 it's and such. It's a cold such, bed until you heat it up. Yeah, it's, it's cold. You get up in the morning, it's cold. So this here was welcoming for sure. But next time's going to be a hammock for sure. Or a tent. I don't know. Maybe a tarp. <laughs> 
But this yeah. here was good. We've had it out now three times. It was three. It wasn't four. I think it was three times. Yeah. And now I'm very confident with this setup. It works well. And, yeah, I'll be using it next year. So we're going to take this stuff out. And I want to thank you for watching. And take care. Bye.